Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Not necessarily news that I want to make a video on, and I guess you can cross off one possibility I would have done during my winter break. But the Calgary Roughnecks, their next upcoming game, which was scheduled, scheduled being the keyword, on Thursday, December 30th, where they would be at home hosting the Halifax Thunderbirds, and that would have been the East Coast Kitchen Party. Well, that game actually has been postponed, as there was definitely league complications with, or the league has agreed that with the travel complications, of course, the ongoing, you know, outbreak with Omicron and the fifth wave that Canada is under. It didn't say anything about any players on either with the Roughnecks or the Thunderbirds that uh, mentioned anything about players being sick. I mean, I've already made a bunch of videos talking about the Calgary Flames situation where they've been having games postponed shut down and the NHL posting games. Well, it's also hit the lacrosse world so that the Calgary Roughnecks next home game actually will not be until Saturday, January the 22nd when they'll be hosting the Vancouver Warriors, so I guess I won't be heading out Thursday night to the Rough House to watch the Roughnecks play the Thunderbirds. Well, the other piece that could also factor in the equation is that the Alberta government, with their latest COVID restrictions, now that the Omicron you know, variant has been wrecking havoc again, even though, as so far, there hasn't been as many people hospitalized with it yet, but the Capacity has been limited to 50%, which will definitely hit the flames the most when you get almost a sellout capacity, 100% capacity at flames games. Roughneck games, even then, you still get about 10,000, depending on, you know, any given game. And right now, with it being the winter break and the fact that we're in the middle of a cold snap in Calgary, that might hurt tens a little. At least people actually attended, but... They're not going to have to worry about that at this point because the game has been postponed. No word yet on when the game will be made up. And, of course, it's always a standard procedure that your ticket will still be honored whenever that said game will be made up. But everything's all digital now because I don't have a physical ticket. But uh, that's just something to share that won't be going to the rough house to wrap up December, which... I guess it means I can start making my notes for my Gary Ruff next this month, recapping how December went with at least the three other games, but uh, I'll just have to find out when this game will be made up, but uh, it is what it is. Definitely just been, feels like we're kind of going backwards again right now with everything, and it's starting to mess with my sporting events. What's going on here? And now, so they did throw in the story with the Ruff next game being postponed, as you know, the Calgary Hitmen, they won't have any games postponed because the Calgary Hitmen are going to have a couple games coming up with the Lethbridge Hurricanes and the Madison Tigers that the Calgary Hitmen have home games scheduled on Tuesday, December 28th, and then Saturday, January 1st, and Sunday, January 2nd, at the Salem at least. As we know, all of those games are still going to go as scheduled. Of course, if there's any updates, I can make a video on that. But at least we know the rough next game, next home game is postponed. I already made a video talking about the Calgary Flames are at least back on the ice practicing. So um, hopefully, Flames will get back in action as they've had seven games postponed with their outbreak. But it's that's the reasons why this game is postponed for the rough next. So, anyways, like I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fans' journey. All the Flames hitting Roughnecks and Stan Peters. Just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I mostly do talk Calgary sports, recapping games and stories. Late spin stories with uh, stuff off the ice or off the field because of why they're not playing, etc. But I uh, also do writing on sports content, like personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and do share experiences I'm on the road or a sport event. Do have some vlogging on the go, which kind of taking a break from that. Just been too busy, and now it's too cold to do some vlogging. So I appreciate you subscribe both here with the 
So those links down in the description below. And I also have my second channel in Brett Hornby Shorts. Where I post my YouTube shorts and my short form content on that channel. So I appreciate it. Like, subscribe on there and here on my main channel. And the fact that uh, the NLL haven't been able to uh, finish the 2020 season and have a season 2021. All right, I guess we're still the faint champs. But I uh, nah, don't like that under these circumstances, but it is what it is. So I just want to say, go next, go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.